Hello, everyone. We are talking about good, solid research practices today. So when I talk about research practices, what I mean is how you go about searching the literature for articles that support the ideas and concepts that you want to address in your papers. One thing that I want you all to consider going forward is that at this point, while all of you have a great deal of experience, knowledge, and work skills in the area that you care about, you are not yet considered an expert in your field. That requires that you go through the doctoral process, get the PhD, complete a research project on your own, a dissertation, and at that point, you can leave here as a postdoc who starts working on research in the field. Reading literature is critical to understanding what other researchers in the field are doing in the area that you care about. When you write a paper, please use good research practices. This means that you first read the literature and figure out what the other researchers are doing, what they're finding, how they're doing it, who are they asking, what kind of studies are they, do, are they doing, what are the exact findings that they're coming up with, the relationships among variables, the dis descriptive statistics on the people that are impacted out there, the theories that are being used today. Once you've done that, you use that content to guide what you're writing in your paper. It's not supposed to be the other way. You shouldn't write your paper before doing any research or, God forbid, have chat GPT write your paper. Please don't do that and then go back and try to find citations to plug into what your ideas are. No, 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 no. That is the backwards way to do research. And it's not even doing research. Instead, that's a biased approach to research, one which scientific people do not follow. So first, Read the literature, jot down some notes, write those annotated bibliographies, keep track of all of them, put them in a database, an Excel spreadsheet, OneDrive, or some kind of way that you can organize them, search for them, find them quickly, use keyword terms, and then use those annotated bibliographies to write your papers. Once you've created your outline for your paper, you can then synthesize the research that you've already found to support your work. I hope this helps. Please, please, please let me know if you have questions. And please don't use fake citations as placeholders. It's just going to get you in trouble. So avoid it. Thanks, everyone.